I'm Courtney Michelanis from All Things New Again in Leesburg, Virginia, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a chalkboard chair using American Paint Company All Natural Clay Chalk and Mineral Paints. I've already painted most of the chair with a really pretty color called Coral Reef, and now I'm going to use a black color called Lincoln's Hat to do the chalkboard part. It's so easy. All you do, shake up your can, put a couple scoops in a bowl, and paint. And because this paint has chalk as one of the ingredients, you can use it to make a chalkboard. Now there are a lot of products on the market that allow you to make chalkboards, but I like American Paint Company the best because it's 100% all natural, there's no VOCs, there's no harmful chemicals, no stinky fumes. I can paint right around my child or pets and I don't have to worry about them and especially since this is a child's chair I don't have to worry about a child you know being around anything harmful so that's a big plus for me oh look at that I'll fix that later plus um, you don't have to mix anything up you just open the can and start painting so I put one coat on um, I'm going to let this dry, come back and put another coat on. To get the chalkboard look, you need about three coats. And then when that is all dry, I'll show you what you need to do to season it. So the first coat of paint is dry now. And I'm just going to take a little sandpaper block and just give it a quick rub. And I do this in between each coat, and what that does is kind of knocks down some of your brush strokes, brush strokes, and it makes your surface nice and smooth. So once this is done, then I'll go ahead and put on the second coat. Okay, so now we're back, and just to review what I've done so far, I painted the entire chair with a color called Coral Reef, using American Paint Company clay chalk and mineral paint. There's no sanding, no priming, no stripping. You just open the can and paint. The only exception would be a lot of times with children's chairs, you see a lot of children's artwork and drawings and scribbles. So if you see crayon marks on a chair, I would definitely sand it first because the, the wax and the greasiness from the crayon will soak through your paint in the end. And if you have like a really heavy black magic marker, you might want to prime it first just so that you'll get really nice coverage and, and that marker won't bleed through. I didn't have any of those issues with this chair, but it's just something to keep in mind, especially when working on children's furniture. You find a lot of really great artwork on there already. Sometimes I feel guilty covering over it. Um, but that's the coral reef part. And then on the top, this is our chalkboard part. You can use any color of American Paint Company paint, so you can have some really fun chalkboard colors. I just went old school on this project with the Lincoln's Hat Black. I used three coats of paint. If it doesn't seem thick enough to write on, go ahead and put a fourth coat on. In between each coat, I just sanded it really lightly with a fine grit sandpaper. You can also use a paper bag, and that knocks down um, some of the brush marks and gives you a smoother surface and it just makes your overall chalkboard look a lot better. When I'm all done with this chair, I'm going to go ahead and wax the coral reef part and that will seal it and give it a nice smooth finish. But the chalkboard part, I'm not going to wax and that's what makes it a chalkboard, just leaving the paint. But you do need to take a piece of chalk and season it and you just turn the chalk on its side and rub it back and forth. Ooh. I don't like the way that sounds. I'm just going to talk really loud over it so I don't hear it. And you get your chalk. Oh, sorry. All over there. And you wipe it off. And you're all done. It's that easy. You have a really nice chalkboard. Hi. All done. So thank you for watching my video. Again, I'm Courtney from All Things New Again in Leesburg, Virginia. If you're ever in Leesburg, Northern Virginia, Metro DC area, please stop by our shop. We would love to see you. And you can always follow our adventures online on our blog, allthingsnewagain.net. Thank you.